Okay, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about rough viz. Um, there's a lot to it. I'm just going to cover kind of the basics. So first thing you're going to want to do is npm install rough viz. I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. And after you've done that in your silt, you're going to do this. So it's not quite um, set up quite right. So you're going to have to import it like this. Alternatively, you can come to your node modules after installing it and rename um, rename this one to index. So I don't know what this guy's doing here, but you could see. I mean, maybe that's important. I'm not sure. It didn't seem like I needed it. So call rough viz.min.js, call that index.js. And then if you do that, you can just rough this like normal. Okay, so maybe if you're watching this in a few months, it'll be fixed, I'm not sure. Okay, so I've got some data here. My labels, Svelte, React, View, Angular, Angular, JS, the amount of stars they have on GitHub, and the number of days since they've been created. And then I've got some colors for each one. So we're gonna make a, how about a um, pie graph first? So here they got a nice example, an API for all of these. Um, or maybe a bar graph. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the API and we can just copy and paste that in here. So you're gonna need to do it on mount like this. So on mount and um, initialize it because it's interacting here with the DOM with that element, it's gonna query selector it. So let's call it hashtag bar and then down here we can do hashtag bar like that. So this is just gonna be a dummy graph, but let's save and let's see if it's working. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. So data labels, uh, so down here, let's do the labels that we got there. So I'll delete that. So labels will just be labels. And then values is going to be stars. So let's see how that looks. So save and then refresh. Cool, so now we got each of them by their stars. And let's say we're gonna have some colors. Um, color, it says color. You can try that. Color is colors. Let me see if that's right. Nope, so maybe they meant colors. See if that works. Oh, also no. Okay, so <clears throat> color for each bar, default sky blue. So all of them are sky blue. So maybe they all have to be the same color with a bar graph. Yeah, that might be the case. So let's try to make a um, pie graph then. <clears throat> so bar graph, you can play with, play around. They've got a ton of different options, so you can play around with that. Um, but let's move on to a pie graph. I think there we can set the colors. So let's go to pi. Oh, no, I don't want to look example. But they do have some nice examples here if you're interested. And you can look at the code directly down here. So you can see it can get really messy. And you can also have different kind of patterns like that. Go back. OK, so I'm going to do a donut API. Let's try this again. So on mount, so we've got our bar graph, and you can just add this here to make a donut. Hashtag donut. Add that down here. Actually, I'll put it before. Hashtag donut. Okay, and labels are going to be same labels. Values are going to be stars. <clears throat> and let's see for this one if we can do colors. Cool, so here we go. So I made AngularJS and Angular kind of the same color because they're similar, I guess. <clears throat> so now you can see a cool little pie graph like that. And there's lots of different options. So padding, roughness, you can play around with that. Let's make it rougher. So roughness is uh, eight. Let's see what that looks like. And then after this one, I'm gonna make a scatter plot. Okay, so you can make it rougher. You can do lots of different things. 
Um, so it's not meant for like high accuracy. It's just kind of um, to show rough visuals. Uh, okay, so I was trying to do a scatter plot before, but it seems like you can only have labels on the individual dots if you get it from a CSV file for some reason. Um, so I wanted to do that, but um, well, I'll do it anyway. So let's come to the API scatter plot. <clears throat> so this one's a bit different because it's got it's got like two axes. Um, so come down here. <clears throat> so I'll call it scatter. Put it up here. Scatter like that. <clears throat> so the x axis, I'm going to make it the ages, and then the y axis will be the stars. Like that. And let's see for this one also, I think we can do colors. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, and then we'll want to make them a bit bigger so we can see them, which will be radius. Default it says it's 8. Let's do 24. Cool. Okay, so now you can kind of see like, so unfortunately, yeah, you can't have a label there. It's just X, Y. Um, you could put this in a CSV file. You could look into that, uh, but that's just how it is. So here is Svelte by, so stars up here and age over here. So Svelte's just a little baby. It's got lots of time to grow and become the best. And stars don't necessarily mean as much as you might think. Okay, so uh, that might be all I'm going to do. You can just play around with it. It's just a fun little library. Um, they've also got a line. And the bar graph, you can also make it horizontal. So it's like this rather than up and down like mine. And there's lots of different options. I'm not going to go through all of them. But you can kind of just figure it out and do what you want. Okay, that's all for this video. Bye.